we've detected two cases of another new variant of coronavirus here in the UK. That it's got slightly more mutations in the part of the spike protein. The threat of new variants, uh, new strains of this virus remains a real one. New variants of COVID are a worry. Travel bans and surge testing like this are designed to contain them because there's a chance they may render our vaccines less effective. That's why, in this unassuming lab at Oxford University, they've been hurrying to update their vaccine. We've learned a lot from the first time. We have our industrial partner on board, so we know where we're going. We have funding, we can do this, and we are practice at it. If a variant emerges, we'll deal with it, we'll get it done. This is the same lab which created the very first batch of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, and it's where a new variant vaccine starts life too. The first step in the manufacturing process actually happens inside these human cells, you can see under the microscope. Not much to look at from here because re-engineering a new variant vaccine on which the future course of the pandemic could depend happens at a molecular level. It's here inside the cell that the researchers insert a strand of DNA containing all the instructions needed to make a new vaccine. The crucial bit is that the DNA includes mutations found in the spike protein of potentially dangerous COVID variants. The South Africa strain, for example, has a mutation here, N501Y, believed to make it more transmissible. Also, E484K and K417N mutations thought to make current vaccines less effective against it. The cell's machinery then packages this DNA into the harmless virus particle that forms the vehicle for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The end result, a jab reprogrammed to challenge our immune system with the critical pieces of new variants of COVID, and that protects us against them. Because it's a virus, it copies itself. So we like to think of it like a, like a sourdough starter, so we can use each stage to seed the next and to seed the next. Working flat out, they've now created versions of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine against most of the common new variants, while their colleagues keep a lookout for others emerging. We can do a surveillance mechanism across the globe now, so we can see things that are arising, but we don't have to commit fully at this stage. We can put them in the bank now so that they're ready if we need them in the future. So far, very few vaccinated people have been exposed to new variants, so they don't yet know if we'll need these vaccines. But like other COVID vaccine developers around the world, this lab has ensured they have alternatives available that could be ready as soon as this autumn. Tom Clark, News at 10.